Welcome back to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be share, uh, showing you guys how to secure and ease ways to give developer permissions they need without compromising your sensitive information. So to so get started, first of all, you might be understanding what exactly is Grunt Developer Access. When you need custom modifications, when you need added integrations or theme adjustments, you are likely needed to grant developer access to your Shopify store. This allows you to customize your theme's goals. This allows you to install and configure applications to develop custom features and to troubleshoot technical issues. So the safe and recommended method uh, is to create a staff account specifically for the developer and grant them only the necessary permissions for their tasks. Now here's how you do it. As you can see, I'm already signed in into my Shopify uh, website. I'm clear into my dashboard. So I'm gonna go into inside my Shopify administrator panel. I'm gonna focus into the left uh, section it says settings and here into the bottom left colon up I focus into users and permissions here what I'm going to be focusing on is into the option that says add some stuff you can see that here we have this element that says store owner now have a note that says some owner permissions can be assigned to a staff we have collaborators we have POS and staff accounts if I choose the option that says compile my plans, that means that the current plan that I'm currently using, it only uh, allows me to add, in this case, five additional staff accounts. So you choose the option that best suits for yourself. And once you have an actual active Shopify account, then you can now start adding some uh, users inside here. So what I'm going to be focusing on is once again into my customer accounts. And I'm going to start with my user section. Here I'm going to go for add users and I'm going to add a new one, new user, new status and a new role. Once I have now hiding, of course, into my permissions carefully, I only wanted to select the areas uh, the developer needed access to. For example, if they're only working on theme customizations, you might grant them uh, for customer support or merchandise or administrator. Really important to be really specific in what you're actually aiming for. Now, some benefits of staff account with limited permissions. If you're using staff accounts with limited permissions, other significant security benefits is that there's a granular control. So you decide exactly what the developer can access and modify. You decide some tracked activity. So all the actions performed by the staff account are locked. And we have an easy removal. You can easily revoke access all once the project is completed. Now, the second method I don't think is that's secure, but you can use it with caution, is a collaborator access, which allows developers to access uh, to your store for a specific task without being a permanent staff member. So in the users and permissions, inside here, you can focus into uh, this section. You can go for collaborators. Here in the security, what you can do is to have the collaborators. So basically the collaborators, they can do developer modes, marketing access to the store, collaborators don't count toward the stat limit. And here are the collaboration stuff. So basically what you have to do, you, you're gonna be having a, an actual new code. This new code should be generated automatically for itself and you can use this to invite them as collaborators. The developer will need it, of course, to provide the collaboration request code. You enter here and here into the option that says grant access. This is like similar to staff accounts. You can specifically specify the permissions you grant or a collaborator. So I'm going to open a new tab. Let's go for Shopify collab. If I am the collaborator, what I can do is to sign in into a Shopify account and trying to aim for the option that says uh, Shopify partners, Shopify administrator, settings, users, roles, and choose the option that says accept. Accept request. It should be asking me for an actual code. In this case, here it is. And I'm going to be having access to it. This code should be uh, updating constantly so not everybody can access to this side. Now, some considerations for collaborator access is that the collaborator access is often used to specific projects and it matched through the developer's Shopify Paladin account. It's a good option for temporarily access. Now, what you not have to do is to share your own login credentials. So never ever share your own Shopify login credentials with a developer. This gives them full administrative access to your entire store and possesses a significant security risk through your email account actually. So always use staff accounts or collaborator access. So these two options are like the most uh, 
I believe like the better solution is to do it. So never ever uh, add or let's say share that locked in stuff. So uh, communication is key guys. So just clearly communicate with the developer about the level of access they need for how long. Ensure you understand the permissions you are granting and well, you are good to go. So granting developer access to your Shopify store is necessary for many customizations, but always prioritize security by using staff accounts with limited permissions. If you have worked with Shopify developers before, you can let us know what are the best practices for granting access. Share out your tips and experience into the comments below. Don't forget to like and share if you want more essential Shopify security advice. Thank you for watching. See you next time.